through their impacts on a potentially varied collection of development outcomes, such as economic growth, poverty, jobs, equity, environmental quality, and economic resilience, transportation corridors can create broader economic gains and costs. The Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Lapset, Corridor Project, commonly known as the Lamu Corridor, is a Kenyan transport and infrastructure project that, when finished, will be the country's second transport corridor. The Mombasa-Uganda Transport Corridor, which runs through Nairobi and much of the Northern Rift Valley, is Kenya's other major transportation road. Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan have just reiterated their commitment to going on with the initiative. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So, if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. The Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transit Corridor Scheme which starts in Lamu, continues to be the region's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project, connecting the three nations with vital infrastructure projects such as ports, motorways, trains, and oil pipeline, and airports. The concept was first proposed in 1975, but it never took off for a variety of reasons. The concept was eventually resurrected and incorporated into Kenya Vision 2030. Lapset was expected to cost $16 billion in 2009. According to the most recent estimates, the project would cost between $22 billion and $23 billion. On April 1, 2013, Kenya's government announced the formation of a government body, the Lapset Corridor Development Authority, to administer the project on its behalf. The project's timetable is unclear, including when it began and when it should be completed. The project's goal is to reduce Kenya's reliance on its main port of Mombasa while also opening up the country's mostly undeveloped northern frontier through the construction of a second transport road. In a recent project meeting, Ethiopian Transport Minister Dagwit Mojis stated that Africa's top priority for continental integration was continuous supply of infrastructure, suggesting the coming together of African governments and leaders to achieve the aim. According to the minister, because Ethiopia, Kenya, and South Sudan have a similar objective of attaining economic progress and prosperity, reducing the infrastructure gap should be a priority for all three nations with regional collaboration and decisive action being key. It was approved as a PISI project by the African Union, AU, Heads of State and Government Orientation Committee, HSGOC, during the AU summit in Johannesburg, South Africa, in June 2015. The inclusion of the Lapset Corridor project in the PISI provides the project with continental institutional and leadership support and recognition, which strengthens investor confidence in the project. The designation further reinforces the Lapset Corridor program's priority status in the government's development strategy, as well as regional and continental infrastructure investment plans. The $25 billion LAFSI Corridor Infrastructure Project, which will connect Kenya with Ethiopia, Uganda, and South Sudan, is headquartered in Mahogany, Kenya's ancient seaside town of Lamu. The ambitious project includes a railway, a highway, a crude oil pipeline, and a fiber optic cable that will connect the four countries. In a recent meeting, Adan Mohammed, Kenya's cabinet secretary for East African Community and Regional Development, remarked that Africa has difficulties such as young unemployment, poor intra-African commerce and industrialization, and inefficient agriculture. He also disclosed that the second significant issue, and the cause for the current conference, is the weak infrastructure that connects the African continent 
and that they believe LAPSI and similar initiatives will play a vital part in reversing the issues that Africa faces today. According to Rayla Odinga, the African Union's High Representative for Infrastructure, LAPSI will play an important role in the development of the African Continental Free Trade Area. During a news conference, Odinga emphasized that Africa requires partners such as China to assist in the development of such infrastructural projects. When finished, the Lapsi Railway will connect to West Africa's Douala, Lagos, Cotonou, Abidjan Corridor, which runs through Cameroon, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Ghana, and Côte d'Ivoire, in that order. According to experts, the LAPSI project will make a significant contribution to the African Union's aim of a peaceful, affluent, and completely integrated continent by 2063. Indeed, African leaders supported the idea during the 2015 O General Assembly as part of the ADET, U.S. Presidential Infrastructure Championship effort. Pastoralists are also endangered by the interruption of seasonal grazing roads caused by the LAPSET project's highway development. Environmental risks have been identified as a source of worry for local people, particularly in the context of oil extraction and transportation. However, despite the critics surrounding the project, the LAPSET corridor project has been accepted as an African Union PETA project, Program for Infrastructure Development in Africa. This advancement sets the door for the project to be prioritized for continental assistance under AUC slash NEPAD for project preparation and implementation funds. This designation also provides the program with enough mileage and exposure to attract foreign direct investment, FDI, especially considering East Africa's recent finds of oil, gas, rare minerals, and coal. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment, let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notification. <laughs>